These images were made using seeds in Midjourney. So does that mean that using the same seed will help keep your character consistent in different scenes? Not really. But seeds can be useful for other things. Let's explore Midjourney seeds in this video. If you'd like to follow along with the examples in this video, you'll find the prompts on screen, as well as in a Google document in the links below. We won't go into details on what seeds are, for that we recommend reading the section on seeds in the Midjourney documentation. But there are some myths and misconceptions going around about what seeds can accomplish in a prompt. Can using the same seed through different prompts give you a consistent looking character? Short answer is no. Longer answer is, yes, in some very limited instances. Let us demonstrate. Let's see if this character pops up again if we slightly change the prompt, but keep the same seed number. We make a subtle change to the prompt, trying another film stock. And indeed that character shows up again. But as you can see from the initial grids, only two of the characters come out looking consistent. If we compare the upscaled images side by side, we can see the differences in color and contrast. So here we have one useful and meaningful way of using the seed parameter to compare the different small details in a prompt can make. And it demonstrates that using names of different types of film stock is actually a useful way of achieving a specific look for cinematic or photographic images in Midjourney. But see what happens if we change the film stock to Cine Still. We kept the seed the same, but none of the characters from the other initial grids showed up. This is because CineStill is strongly associated with a cinematic look in Midjourney's training. So not just the colors and the contrast are affected, but also the characters and the scenery. Returning to our first character, we can also change other small details in the prompts while keeping the same seed. Here we added the words side view to get the image on the right. And in this one we added the words low angle. Sometimes you get lucky when prompting with the same seed and changing small details. It can help you compare different camera angles, lighting, colors and film stock. But if you need to keep a character consistent for storytelling purposes you're better off forgetting about seeds, and instead concentrate on image references.